Hello, in this video, we are going to look at the horizontal drag gesture. So the horizontal drag, essentially, if you drag your finger or, you know, your pointer, wherever it is, in this case, it's going to be a mouse simulating the finger because it's on a simulate emulator. Whatever it is, if you drag it horizontally, so left and right, it allows you to detect that gesture. If you're interested, up and down, that's the vertical drag. I've got a separate video covering that. Feel free to check that out. So we've got this image right here. And what we want to do is detect when we're dragging left and right. This could be useful if you have a carousel. You could, you could be swiping between images. You could be swiping between posts, posts between pages. You know, anything really. But I'm just going to get the detection done, put a print statement in there. And what you do with it and the way you do it is totally up to you. And what we want to do is create a child. And this is going to be gesture detector. Inside of this child we are going to put the you know the widget that we want to apply the gesture to then we need to do on horizontal and there's a few different ones start when you first click it update when you have to scroll in and you know when you lift it off down is similar to start you know but while it's still on there cancel is when something interrupts your phone like if you got a phone call essentially the phone call comes to the you know the calling app your phone app comes to the foreground and your app goes to the background and it's no longer you know you know ticking away as it would be if you were using it so if i do start and this needs to have you need to put drag start details i was going to say print and i'm going to say start another print details so if I click on it, as you can see, it's detected it and you'll get different coordinates and this is relative to the screen. If I click off it, it doesn't do anything. It's only on the image itself. So if I click it and I drag, nothing happens. That's because we need, so if I copy and paste this to save some time, we need the drag update gesture and we need to have the appropriate drag update detail parameter and i'll change this to update as well if i save that go back to it and if i click on it it says start and if i drag left we get update and obviously we'll get loads of different ones as you can see i'm dragging left and right now so what are these values so we're only we're only getting values even if we move up and down we're only getting values as you can see in the x-axis because that is horizontal drag and we're getting different values so if we open it up again if I click, uh, let me scroll to the bottom. So if I click and I scroll left, we get a minus value. And if I scroll right, we get a positive value. And really, that's all there is to it. Using those values, using, you know, sometimes they're called like the, I think the delta. Using that value, you can determine not only what direction the scroll is. If it's positive, it's the same as same thing as the user swiping to the right. If it's negative, it's the same thing as the user swiping to the left. But you can also detect, if you look, the speed of it. Because obviously we've got different values, which allows you to determine maybe how many items to scroll through. And that is it. What I want you to do as an extra task is to add all of the other gestures for horizontal drag. So there's end, down, and cancel, and actually simulate them, get, get them working. And finally, I want you to figure out how to get this individual X value from detail. You can do dot and you can check out all of the other properties right there. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.